guys welcome back to my channel sorry i look very very rough but this is how my hair in a puff for a few days and when you put curly hair in a puff it stays in a puff for the rest of the time to wash it anyways so i have seen your pictures um in two days two days i think and i wanted to straighten my hair for it so, I'm gonna be straining my hair. I'm so excited because I haven't straightened my hair in so long, which is honestly a big achievement for me. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. That's my little brother. That's all. I haven't straightened my hair since like December, and it's been like six months, which is a very long time for me, considering that I used to straighten my hair like every two months. But I did dye my hair a slightly lighter color. I, I gave myself a little highlight, even though it's mostly like towards the bottom. Anyway, you can see the difference in the light actually. This part is lighter than my natural hair. Um, but yeah, so I think I really wanna see it with the dye part straightened. So, um, and normally I don't get heat damage. The only time that I've gotten heat damage is whenever I would straighten my hair like right here because I would straighten it right here a lot. Um, like the strands coming out. Yeah, I would straighten the front pieces a lot and that's the only places that I've got heat damage before. But most of the time I don't get heat damage because um, I usually straighten my hair like really good the first time that I do it so I don't have to like keep straightening it over and over again unless it gets like really frizzy or something. Or like I get it wet accidentally. So yeah, so I think first things first, I'm going to change my shirt because it's really hard to wash my hair and hoodies and straighten and stuff. First things first, I'm going to wash my hair and then I'll sit down and talk off through how I usually wash my hair. Okay guys, I'm back from washing my hair. It's a long and tedious process, but I did the usual routine. I um, shampooed my scalp, mostly only my scalp. I did run it down the strands this time though. Um, rinsed it out. But after I shampooed, I put this mint condition, a tingling scalp conditioner. Label kind of rubbed off, so I don't know what it is, but I think this is in Target though. Um, it could be in Walmart too, but I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I put this on after I shampooed on my scalp. And then I left it on for two minutes and then I rinsed it out very thoroughly. Um, after that, I put in the conditioner and I let it sit for five minutes. And then I rinsed that out. I did left some in, just a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit, which is way less than what I would usually leave in, but that's what I left in this time. So I'm about to dry my hair. Um, this is, my mom got this and I'm not sure where she got it from, probably like TJ Maxx or Marshalls I think, um, but yeah, it's just like this round brush hair dryer thing, um, and I just, it's, it's very convenient because usually I would use this round brush, my hair dryer, this is what I would usually use, so basically it's com like a combination of both, and I braided my hair into little sections that I don't want to do for blow drying my hair. For the heat protectant, I just use this Fantasia hair polisher heat protectant straightening serum. Um, yeah, this is really good actually, <laughs> really good. I used to use the Cantu, I know. I know, ill Cantu, but it smells so good. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, now I use this one and I'm just gonna blow dry each section. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do the blow drying section first and then I'll um, finish all the other sections. So I'm gonna start with one little piece from this section. So I don't do this big section, I just take little pieces like that. And then I have a little thing on standby. Then I brush out the section and I apply heat protectant. Not too much of this though, because this does like do a lot. Um, it will literally make it to the point where 
it's hard to put your hair up in a bun because of how silky it is. Yeah, you don't want to put too much at first. So do you want to work it, work it in? But if you like you need to add more, you need to just add more, but not too much at the same time. Make sure to apply it to the end very thoroughly though. You want the ends to be silky and not puffy. That's a mistake that I used to have in the past. Not putting enough heat protectant on my ends. So it'll be very, very puffy. So we work the heat protectant in. And then after you do that, you take this. And I usually. So now it's like this. The key to having really straight hair, the first time you straighten your hair, is um, blow drying it really well. And this brush works perfectly for that. Like, honestly. So you wanna blow dry it really, really well. So that when you straighten your hair, you don't have to go over your hair as much as you would usually have to. Um, so I'm gonna do that to all the sections and I'll get right back to y'all. Okay, I'm back. That took a while, like about an hour to be honest, but it's way shorter time. This cuts it way shorter time than I would usually have to take to blow dry my hair. But I just put both sides up into a bun um, until I could finish both sides. I'm like, yeah, just kind of curled it a little bit. I'm about to get started with straightening my hair. It might take a little bit longer. Well, the, the blow drying part took a little bit longer because I I kept getting distracted by YouTube. So, um, yeah, this is what it looks like right now. I'm about to straighten it. And then, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is great also for blowouts. If you want to get that blowout look. Ooh, this is perfect for blowouts. But, um... I'm gonna go in with a straightening iron. The straightening iron that I use is this Nano Titanium by Babyless Pro. This has been through some stuff, y'all. This is very old, but <laughs> it works. So, but how I straighten my hair, you always wanna find a straightener usually that doesn't have this little, you can see how you can see the little gap. You wanna find something that doesn't have that gap, but since I already have this and it's been on me like forever, and it works. I just clamp the end like this when I'm straightening and push it down so that it doesn't have that gap. So I just go like this and go all the way down my hair strand so that it covers it all and not just part of it. I usually go to 40. You can see that. Dude, how big? Focus. Focus, 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 focus. It is literally not focusing. But yeah, it, it says 40 basically. Um, so I'm gonna let this preheat. And then I'm going to show y'all how I usually straighten it. For all my strands, I'm gonna reapply the heat protectant because you don't want to like, burn your hair off. Um, but this time, I'm not doing strand by strand because I'm just gonna make my hair oily. So I'm just gonna go in the whole thing and apply it just like that. Because if I apply it individually, it's just gonna be oily. So I would rather just have it Like that. Especially to my edges because I don't want to burn these off. My mom used to use a hot edge comb on me. Not the one that you put on the stove, but like the electric one. But I hated that thing. So, put little tiny pieces like this. 
Okay. You want to fit your hair up. Okay. And then you take this one piece. This one piece. Brush it. Usually I follow it with a brush. This brush and just follow it. I don't have a comb with me. But first before I run my hair down the strand, I go like this to make sure that I get the inside of it. To make sure that it's not curly at the roots and then then I get started on straightening the whole strand so I go like this and then go down I don't need to hold it right here one it's hot two um if you just squeeze hard enough for this you won't have the gap so there we go and then, just one pass is good enough for me. So, I'm gonna just put it back there, and I do it all of the strings. So, I'll be right back and show you the update. Okay, guys, I just finished half of my hair. This is how it's looking. Perfect. Yep. what it looks like so far sorry about the chair squeaking <laughs> i need to get me a chair it's really old but um this is what it looks like so far you can really see the hair dye now um especially in this light yeah i think it's really cute Okay, I'm about to do the other side, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I just finished the other side. It took me about an hour, I would say, 30 minutes for each side. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. Um, yeah. I think it turned out really good. I think it's cute. to start getting ready for my senior pictures sorry that i look kind of crazy um i'm doing the heatless curl thing with my hair so that's why it's like this right now but i took a shower i lathered up the lotion um i put on deodorant and everything and i'm about to start doing my makeup and it's just gonna be my normal routine that i did in my get ready with me so I'm just gonna do my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my makeup and I'm gonna put on my pearls. Because for the Drake pictures, you have to wear pearls. So I got this pearl, a pearl, and then I have some earrings. I need to get my second piercing. of my outfit on so 
all you do is put on the top and undo my hair. And then I'm done. But yeah, so I think we're about to go. Okay guys, it's actually a few days later. Um, but I just wanted to recap on the last two days. So the first day I had senior pictures, which went really well. I'm so excited to see the pictures because I think I absolutely devoured that. Um, <laughs> um, no, like for real, I really do think that the pictures came out really good. But yeah, so I think that went really well. And then the next day I had um, senior prep day where I get my schedule and we pay for fees and all that. So that went well too. I thought we were taking ID pictures, but I think they're just gonna use our old pictures from last year, which kind of sucks, but they might also use our senior pictures. So I don't know which one they're doing this year yet. So I guess we'll find out on the first day of school. Anyways, so I got my schedule and the classes that I'm taking. I'm not gonna say like the order they're in, but I'm just gonna say what I'm taking. I'm taking, um, I'm taking civics, environmental science, and I know I was saying 12th grade environmental science. Really, you're supposed to get on ninth. I was supposed to take in ninth grade, but I took a different science. I think it was like I don't know where it was, but anyways, I was supposed to take it, and I didn't get to take it last year either because it, the class was full so i only got to uh take anatomy and physiology honors so this year i'm just going to take environmental science easy pass you know so <laughs> I, I need the credit so um and then i'm taking one on um, one elective which is um entrepreneurship and Another one I'm taking is, it's not elective, it's a main class. I'm taking calculus honors. I want to take pre-calculus because I took advanced math last year, my junior year, but they said they aren't doing pre-calculus this year. So I had to take calculus, which math is not really my strong point. So it's gonna be a real struggle, but I think I got this, you know, I mean, I passed last year with an A, so I think I'm good, but it's just calculus, you know? At least I'm getting the experience before I go to college, and I'm just gonna be completely lost. So I'm glad that I'm taking it now. But that's for my first semester. My first semester is just those three, four classes. So, and then for my second semester, which is from January to May, early May, um, I'm taking one of the classes. Well, I take three electives and one core class for that semester, which honestly, I was kind of like, oh, well, I'll tell y'all about it later. But um, the classes I'm taking, one elective is gonna be digital, digital application, digital design, something. It's like you edit on like Adobe and stuff, I think. But I was really excited for that because, you know, my strong point is kind of like editing stuff, whether it be like pictures or anything like that. So, and it like interests me. So I just like to do it. So I signed up for that elective and then I have entrepreneurship too, which is the second class we take for it. Then I also have um, office worker, which means I work in the office. And it's pretty chill most of the time. I've seen <laughs> chill, not children. I've seen students working in the office. Um, so it seems pretty chill, so I just thought I'd take it. Um, but yeah, so that's for my second semester. Now, for the overall thing, um, I start school August 9th, which I know a lot of people are gonna say is really early. <laughs> but we do end in like late May. So, I mean, I've always started school around like August 8th, 9th sort of that like timeline. So it's not really new to me, but it, it does kind of suck. But I'm also kind of excited because you know, senior year, and a lot of events going on. Um, but as for senior year in general, I'm really upset because my school had used to do 
late arrival and early dismissal for the seniors last year, but they aren't doing it anymore this year. So we have to take two more classes or how many ever many more classes that we need to fill in those gaps that we were gonna do for late arrival and early dismissal. So we can't like go to school at like 11 and get out around the normal time or go to school at like nine and then get out at 11, which really sucks because I would really enjoy that. But it's okay, I'm just gonna work through it. Most of my classes should be pretty easy though because I mean, it's kind of chill. My schedule's kind of chill, I would say. Oh wait, yeah, my, my last class for my second semester is English for AP. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> but yeah, that's my last class for my second semester. And then, um, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited for senior year. Um, I start in like 20, 19 days, I think. Um, and I guess when I went to prep day and the senior pictures, it really, really hit me that like, I'm gonna be a senior, like I'm graduating this school year. Like no more high school first days. This is it. <laughs> You're going into the world now, kind of. Taking a, you're taking a step. You're taking a step into the real world. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for all the senior events that are gonna come up. Uh, another thing is I'm also mad at high school because we can't wear black pants anymore because we used to be able to wear spirit shirts or a polo shirt with black pants or khaki pants or whatever khaki black bottoms you wanted to except for leggings you cannot wear leggings or athletic shorts but we got the choice to wear black pants but now we can't we can only wear khaki so we can only wear khaki pants or what, whatever bottoms with a spirit shirt or a polo shirt, which kind of sucks. And we also can't wear hoods. So that kind of sucks. But another thing is the seniors are gonna be in pods this year because they're rebuilding the main building of the school. So we're gonna be in pods. Yeah, which is gonna suck all that walking because it's literally at, way at the back of the school, but it's whatever. I'm, I'm just gonna make the best of it that I can. Um, but I'm really excited for all the events gonna come up and my birthday in December per the big 18. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But also, um, I'm also gonna combine my birthday party with my graduation party. And I'm so excited for that too. Um, I already know what theme, what dress I want and everything. So, you know, to all my Sagittarius's out there. <laughs> to all my Sagittarius out there, you know, you know what the vibe is. Um, it's also, I have to look at the temperature though for the day that I want to do it on because I am a winter baby. So, I'm gonna have to remember that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give y'all an update on everything that happened because I didn't really vlog that much. I am gonna insert some pictures, like, you know, yeah, purr, pop off, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell. And I love you, and goodbye. <laughs>